Every generation creates its own rules. They will create a new language to communicate with their peers, create and consume a new pop culture. They will even have a new definition of what it means to be mature. The Baby Boomer, born before 1963, productive, hardworking, team players, and mentors. They are often seen as less adaptable and less collaborative. Generation X, born between 1964 to 1980, independent, resilient, and adaptable, comfortable questioning authority. They are often seen as cynical. The Millennial, born between 1981 to 1995, enthusiastic, tech savvy, entrepreneurial, and optimistic. They are often seen to be unproductive and self-obsessed. This combination of generations in the workforce is a very real challenge for companies. In this presentation, we will define the problem of practice, the theoretical framework, and finally, strategies for addressing the generational diversity. Problem of practice. With three distinct generations currently operating in various working environments, differences in values and beliefs can manifest interpersonal conflict. It is this type of dissidence that interferes with effective communication, leading to resentment, discord, and decrease in morale, and overall job dissatisfaction resulting in higher numbers of attrition. The generational gaps that exist between perceptions of general workplace expectations can also generate declines in productivity and reduce profitability. Further, because each generation has different ideals when it comes to motivation at work, there is a challenge among leaders and management to identify those things that stimulate and encourage their employees who are often inspired by vastly different means. Theoretical Framework There are eight social identity frameworks. Building on these eight categories we discussed in class can further depict an employee's social identity, which may allow us to further understand various generational employee attributes. Employee generational differences can be didactically broken down with theoretical framework, which will allow further discussion and intra-employee analysis. Dissonance across various employee generations, such as the study data above, where three different generations were segmented in eight social identity categories. Executive presence, generating revenue, adaptability, cost effectiveness, tech savviness, relationship building, problem solving, collaboration. Research shows that diversity is an issue of power, inclusion, and equity. When dealing with diversity, we must look at what people group is the most vulnerable and thus needs centering in order to make sure the systems and structures being created take those important people groups into account. With generational diversity in the workforce, those that are of working age, as well as the most vulnerable, are those that are in the last 10 years before their retirement. Job descriptions tend to favor those that are 35 to 45 years old, making it harder for a workforce to have diversity in age. Intergenerational conflict solution styles and cultural values guide policy and process creation. Since most C-suite positions which hold the power to create policy are between the ages of 40 and 50, most policy largely benefits those that are in that age group. This creates a culture where the litmus test of production is not based on diverse perspectives, but instead mostly on that of majority culture. If individuals are not able to conform to those age-based cultures, then there is a work-based stress that is created which over time produces trauma in employees, increasing the attrition rate of age-based minorities. The cycle continues until there is a stop to this culture and subconscious bias. Strategies. Successful strategies for addressing generational diversity within the workplace include raising awareness and education, especially for managers and supervisors, on understanding how communication, motivation, and identity differ between the generations. The National Conference of Bar Foundations gave five suggestions. Focusing on goals and expectations gives everyone a level playing field. Encouraging people with different generations to form mentorships can be a positive way to engage in conversations and learn from one another. 
be open to suggestions from lots of different places. Connecting workers with how they're contributing to overall goals gives purpose. People in different generations may prefer different versions of work-life balance, whether it's PTO or flex working schedule or working from home, accommodate desires. Conclusion. The difficulty in creating successful cross-generational teams are many. The commonalities between generations are just as many. Clear understanding of the unique pros and cons of each of the baby boomer, Generation X, and millennial generations is where the successful strategies can be found.